As your students start to participate in some of the activities that you have created for them in Schoology, such as discussions, assignments, assessments, anything where the student needs to interact with something or submit something, you can get some course analytics to see what exactly your students have been doing, how long they have been spending on a particular activity, and whether or not they have even opened that activity. So the way to look at that information is to go into your individual course where you want to view this information, and on the left-hand side you're going to click Analytics. So this is going to first land on a page that gives you just some very general analytics about the students in your course. So you'll be able to see when they last accessed Schoology in general, and as well as when they accessed, the last time they accessed material in your particular course. And it will also display how much time they have spent in Schoology on this particular day at this timestamp. You can get even more information about individual student activity by clicking on the name of one of your students. And when we jump into the specifics, I can view this activity from this student based on the different types of materials that we just mentioned, which are assignments, discussions, assessments, anything that requires the students to re repost something, submit something, etc. So now, by default, this is going to be filtered by alphabetical order, order over here by title, but you can change um, how you filter this or how you want to view it. So as I scroll down here, you can see, I can see what things have not been submitted at all. And I can also get some information as to when the student accessed a particular assignment, when they submitted it, and here, particularly for assignments, how many times they submitted that particular assignment. So that can be helpful in terms of grading. Um, so as I scroll down, I get the same kind of information for all of these different assignments. And then I can filter this to just view assessments. So now I can see how much time students have spent on my assessment or this particular student. So I can see they have not accessed these particular assessments yet. Um, these were accessed. I can see when they submitted it, and then I can see the time spent on this particular um, assessment. So course analytics can be a very helpful tool if you need to see how your students, in particular, if you're worried about you know a particular student, um, what they have been working on, when they have been working on it, and how much time they've actually spent on it. In addition, if you will notice here as I'm looking at this course analytics page, if I want to see the exact information that the student has submitted, whether it's their choices on an assessment or their specific submission on an assignment, these are all hyperlinks so that I can go directly to what they submitted and view it right here from there. So I hope this was helpful. It just gives you another bird's eye view of student activity in your Schoology courses.